perform the following matrix operation. As we can see, it is the multiplication of two matrices. These are minus 1, 2, 1, 1, 0, minus 2 times minus 1, minus 1, 0, 2, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 1. Before we start multiplying two matrices, we need to verify whether it is possible to multiply those matrices. To do that, we need to check the dimensions of these matrices. The first matrix has two rows and three columns. The dimension of this matrix is 2 by 3. The second matrix has three rows and three columns. It's a 3 by 3 matrix. If the number of columns of the first matrix is identical with the number of rows of the second matrix, it is possible to multiply them. As we can see in this case, both are 3. Therefore, we can multiply these two matrices. The answer will have these dimensions. The number of rows will come from the number of rows of the first matrix and the number of columns would come from the number of columns of the second matrix. The answer, therefore, will be a matrix of dimensions 2 by 3. In this matrix, there will be 6 elements. I will try to find these elements one by one. Let's consider the first row of the first matrix with the first column of the second matrix. From these, I will find the element in first row and first column of the answer. And that's how I find it. I multiply the first number on the first row with the first number on the column. I add on top of that the second number with the second number and on top of that the third number in the row with the third number in the column. This becomes 1 plus 4 minus 1 that's a 4. Therefore the answer for the first row and the first column in the answer matrix is 4 which I will write here. Now let's look at the first row. Of the first matrix and the second column of the second matrix. From this first row and second column I can get the element in the answer which is on the first row and second column. And this is how I find it. I multiply the first element of the row, which is minus 1, by the first element of the column, which is again minus 1. I add on top of that the second element on the row multiplied by the second element in the column, and I add on top of that the third element of the row multiplied by the third element in the column. I can simplify this to get 1 plus 2 plus 0, which is a 3. Therefore, 3 goes into the element on the first row and second column. I can repeat this procedure 
to find all of the elements of the answer matrix. Let's now find the element on the first row, third column. That means I will consider the first row and third column. I can write the answer as minus 1 times 0 plus 2 times minus 1 plus 1 times 1, which simplifies to 0 minus 2 plus 1, which is minus 1. Minus 1 goes here. Now the element on the second row, first column. That means I have to focus on the second row and first column. That is 1 times minus 1 plus 0 times 2 plus minus 2 times minus 1, which we can simplify to minus 1 plus 2, and that is plus 1. Plus 1. Now the element on the second row and second column. That means I will focus on the second row and second column. 1 times minus 1 plus 0 times 1 plus minus 2 times 0. That is minus 1 plus 0 plus 0, which is minus 1. The last element is the element on the second row and third column. I focus on the second row and third column. 1 times 0 plus 0 times minus 1 plus minus 2 times 1 is equal to 0 plus 0 minus 2, which is minus 2. In practice, we usually do not write the calculations explicit in this way. We have to practice so we come fast enough, we can do everything in the head.